Okay, so I want to set up our uh, 2017 Ford F-350 to charge our Jackery while uh, we're driving down the road in the back of the truck. Um, the seven-way plug has a charge output, but the smarts on the um, Ford truck make it so it won't send power until it sees some things. So the first step I did was uh, connecting up uh, just a simple light uh, between uh, ground and the brake um, power that comes out. Uh, and let me show you what uh, that does first. So what I've been able to figure out so far is in order to send power out on the auxiliary uh, battery charge uh, circuit, um, the truck needs to sense that there is a trailer um, back there. And also you need to push on the brake for a, a second or two, and then it will start sending power. So, um, Again, I just have that little LED light uh, between the brake uh, controller um, output and uh, ground. Start the truck um, and it comes up and does actually think there is a trailer back there. Um, and I can actually uh, change the uh, brake gain so it, the, the light is tricking it. Um, but when we go back here, there's nothing happening, um, on, uh, no, no input. Um, you will see this light flash every once in a while. I don't know if you can pick that up or not, but it is blinking every once in a while. And, uh, I think that's just the truck's way of determining um, that it does sense a trailer. So it needs more than just the brake controller uh, output uh, to be able to send power out, which is kind of weird. So the uh, charging output is at the one o'clock position. If you're looking at the uh, back side of this plug, ground is at seven o'clock and um, the brake controller output is at five o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more lights here to the uh, turn signals and see if that can make it happen. All right, so uh, I've got now a brake controller and uh, left and right turn signal and brake lights uh, connected. There's the left on that side, uh, right is over here and everything's uh, dumping into the uh, ground. So we'll get this hooked back up, start the truck, and see what happens. All right, boom, trailer connected, brake gain. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that brake gain uh, down to zero. Um, I've got my foot on the brake. Uh, let's see if it, uh, it's sending power now. Hey, look at that. We're getting 84, 85 watt input into uh, the Jackery now. Uh, so that's it. It needs to see um, left and right uh, turn signal, brake output, and also the uh, brake controller. So it re really wants to see a trailer back there in order to send power out um, on the auxiliary uh, charge spot. So obviously I don't want to uh, have to have all these lights hooked up all the time. Um, I've got to figure out a way to uh, cleanly set the system up so um, I can charge our uh, uh, portable power station here by the uh, Jackery without having this goofy light set up uh, everywhere. Um, let me give that some thought but uh, at least we proved the concept of how to uh, get power out of the uh, seven-way plug. Um, again, that's kind of a mess, but uh, you would think it would just send power all the time um, out here with just power and ground, which is what I started with, um, but it needs to uh, see several things. Again, you gotta have the truck running, 
you got to push on the brake and it needs to sense that there's a trailer back there and a trailer uh is comprised of uh, uh lights on left and right uh turn signal brakes and also the uh, brake output so there you go okay so now that i figured out what the truck is actually doing in order to send power back here two possible scenarios to uh, make this work. Um, one is to go ahead and brace what uh, the truck has and fix something uh, that's cleaner than this so it tricks the truck into thinking a trailer is um, connected all the time. Maybe with some resistors or something like that, but I, I don't want to have lights dangling around. I want a clean setup. So that's uh, option one. Option two is to just go ahead and uh, run a different line on the back side of this plug for auxiliary power that sends power there um, when the key is on. And on my truck, um, it has the uh, upfitter switches that are up top here. Uh, I've got one that's uh, set up for my uh, airlift airbag compressor. So I could just pick another one of these and uh, splice in back, uh, the back of the truck um, with a different line run from uh, up here. These are the upfitter uh, wires um, that are all set up. And I would have to run from, uh, you know, up here all the way to the back of the truck um, and, and cut that line and uh, set up uh, the upfitter to whenever the key is on, it sends power there all the time. So eliminate the, the smart uh, of the truck. I don't know which way I'm going to go, but those are two options I can see.